All right. Welcome everyone to Nova Demo 29, so the first demo of 2023. So let's go. Today, our agenda will be concise. We're going to review our previous uh, release, which is 5.1. Um, also, we'll discuss the, or we will have a little preview for the Agile delegations and see what's coming in this direction and what is the status. And finally, we'll have the roadmap updates uh, for the project. And while we're waiting for others to join, feel free to join the community of Nova by scanning the QR code or using the slides um, from the YouTube description uh, by clicking on the link tree link or uh, link to this uh, link in the description of this video. So let's start with version 5.1 release, which was focused on the desktop dev mode and security UX improvements. So first feature was the desktop job mod. It was one of the community requested features. Uh, and generally it aims to focus uh, on the solving the issue of certain apps not being mobile friendly. So whenever you join uh, the DApp, uh, it can be not really um, shaped for the mobile uh, interface. Therefore, you won't be able to utilize any functionality of this job. And you can basically see the DApps which uh, can be launched in the desktop mode now, because Nova is basically asking uh, the DApp to return the version of the desktop uh, for, for its interface so that users can still interact with it. So that's being said, we are in the context, uh, we are in the communications with uh, the teams and the teams are constantly working on improving uh, their DApps, optimizing them for the mobile, but at the same time, uh, we would like to provide opportunity for the users whenever they approach such DApp, uh, there are no limits for them to use uh, the functionality of this DApp uh, if there is no mobile interface available. So that's the desktop DApp mode, the highly demanded feature from the community. It's finally arrived and we will be adding all these desktop DApps as soon as we discover them. Uh, and right now we have added six of them. So feel free to utilize them and use. This update is available now on the uh, Google Play and the App Store. The second major feature, uh, which was also collected from the community requests, is focused on the security UX improvements. Um, three features. Uh, first, being pin code request after inactivity. So whenever you have stopped using Nova, uh, your phone is uh, laying around somewhere for like five minutes, and whenever you take it uh, in your hands and unlock it uh, and open the Nova, the Nova will request you to enter the pin code for the security, for the sake of security, because uh, you need to verify that you are the owner of the phone in order to access um, basically the functionality of the app. The same will happen if you minimize the app. So basically, uh, as soon as the Nova becomes inactive for five uh, or more minutes, then uh, the Nova will request you to enter the pin code or any other biometry if uh, it's applicable for you. The second one is safe mode. Uh, safe mode is something what will be also demoed, but uh, in short, uh, that's basically whenever you minimize um, your application, the content of the app will be uh, hidden, right? So once again, whenever you pass your phone to your friend or someone else, uh, and whenever they try to see all your apps open, they will not be able to see what's uh, inside of the Nova by the preview. So the preview now is hidden for the sake of the security. Uh, another feature here for the safe mode, it's Android exclusive, but whenever you enable the safe mode, uh, you will no longer be able to do the screenshots, uh, the screen recording, once again, for the security reasons, so that you will not accidentally uh, take a screenshot with the sensitive data, let's say with your mnemonic passphrase, or with your balance and this screenshot got leaked. So this is uh, again, uh, to increase the security uh, for your usage and for your funds management. And the third one, as I mentioned, as a part of the safe mode is basically hide content when minimized. So let's switch to the Android device uh, and have a little demo of these features. Just give me a second. So let me launch the Nova here. So let's first have a demo of the desktop um, DApp browser mode. So whenever we go now um, to the DApp tab uh, and we go to the um, to the DApps list, 
we can find this DevOps with a mark of the desktop mode, right? So let's for for, for simplicity, let's just uh, enter into the search desktop and we will see uh, all of them. So you can see that we have Akala, Kilt, Karura, Mangata, Talisman, and Zenlink, and that's probably it. Yes. And let's open any of those. Let's say let's open Akala. And previously, uh, you probably, uh, if you have been discovering any DApps uh, by yourself, you would approach uh, some apps uh, like Akala, and you will see that basically uh, they don't have um, the um, mobile version for the interface. Therefore, you couldn't really utilize them. But now you certainly can. So now you, it, it looks like a like a desktop basically version of the DApp, and you can uh, go and zoom in uh, if you want. Uh, you can basically navigate through the DApp features. The UX, uh, again, it's not ideal, but you can do uh, access all these features of these DApps uh, whenever you need them, right? So that's the goal of this feature so that you can, um, you basically have no limits, right? Uh, you can access with your uh, accounts any functionality in the ecosystem, even if this DApp is not purpose to work on the mobile. Uh, and if we will disable the desktop mode, uh, you would be able to see how the interface changes uh, and you basically don't have uh, any of this information available um, for you to see. So let's give it a time uh, for a color to reload. Or maybe, yeah, uh, sometimes it happens, uh, the emulator stuck. So let me relaunch it. Yeah, and hey, everyone who joined. Great to see you. Just give me a second. All right, so let me resume the screen sharing. I have just updated the Android Studio today, so there are some issues going on with the Android emulator. So <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry for this. So let me resume the screen sharing. So as I was mentioning, now uh, the desktop mode uh, DApps are marked in the names, right? And you can basically access the features of this. Um, so one of the great uh, DApps, I would say the Zenlink, because Zenlink was one of the DApps which you couldn't even access uh, previously from the Nova because it was just saying like, hey, you need to switch to the desktop, but now you can access it uh, with both Polkadot.js protocols and the MetaMask protocols uh, protocol um, from the Nova. So that's a really good um, feature now. Uh, of course, you can use the desktop mode in any of the DApps that you have been using previously, like uh, let's say Astar DApp Hub. Uh, however, um, I would highly recommend you to use the mobile interface in the DApps, uh, which have uh, the mobile interface because that's uh, much more convenient um, to be utilized. But uh, just for, for you to know, uh, you can access the desktop mode and the favorite features in this bottom right corner. So this is kind of like a page settings now. Um, yeah, sorry for this. Uh, lots of things happening because of this uh, Android Studio update. So on the bottom right, you have this DApp settings um, menu uh, on which you can basically add the DApp to the favorite or switch on or off the desktop mode. So that's the desktop mode. Uh, let us know um, in any communication channels if you have um, these particular DApps which were not working uh, previously with Nova, but now you can basically run them with the desktop mode. All right, the second feature is basically a safe mode. And for this, I need to open a couple of the apps. Uh, yes, I can see them here. So the safe mode is whenever you try to enable it uh, on Android and on iOS, it's enabled by default. Uh, so on Android, you will have this uh, notification that basically screen recording and screenshots will not be available. The minimized app will not display the content. So what exactly it it is meaning, right? So the screenshots and the screen recording is pretty much um, self-descriptive. So you can no longer take a screenshots uh, if you enable the safe mode just for the sake of security to basically remove any, uh, any chance or possibility for you to accidentally leak sensitive data from the Nova. 
Um, and for the minimized content, let's minimize uh, the Nova. And whenever we try to open like a um, app manager, you will see that for other applications, you can see the preview of the content, but the Nova hides it. So whenever um, you basically pass your phone to any friend, uh, they will no longer see any sensitive data for this reason. And of course, uh, our third feature, which uh, is basic, so first feature here, um, which is basically uh, uh, requesting the pin code after uh, five minutes of inactivity will only add towards this uh, protection, right? So that's being the 5.1 release. Uh, once again, it's already available on the Google Play and the App Store. Feel free to download and utilize these amazing features. And let's go back to the slides. Agile delegations. So today we're going to have uh, a sneak peek or the preview for the Agile delegations. And we just finished the planning together with the development team. And I expect that on the next demo, we would be able to showcase some of the features in this direction. But let's see what to expect on the next demo and um, in the next releases. So you can see the list from our Polkadot treasury proposal uh, towards the Agile delegation. Uh, of course, you would be able to manage your delegations, which means you can create, you can view your delegations, you can remove, and you, re you can edit delegations. So all the cycle for the delegations uh, will be available for you. But also, we wanted to uh, go a little beyond that because not many users first know what is delegation. And the second, not lots of the users will be uh, kind of motivated to use this feature. And even if they are motivated to use this feature and they know about this feature, it's still um, what is missing is basically an information, information to whom you can delegate and what is the reasoning of doing so, right? And we will try to approach this by opening the, the sort of like a portal where the delegate uh, persons or organizations can submit their information so that Nova can show the rich um, data for them. Like, and icons, the names, the descriptions. Maybe there are some incentives uh, in order to uh, basically reward accounts which are delegated to you, right? So who knows what it will um, what it will happen, right? Uh, in the future with this, but anyways, we will provide the convenient uh, user interface uh, in order for people to understand the reasoning behind the delegations, as well as to conveniently select any account of the individual or organization or basically yeah, any account in the blockchain to delegate your votes to, right? Um, so that's uh, the fifth feature. And the last one here is basically view list of accounts for, um, uh, oh, sorry, uh, that was the last feature. And the previous one was view what your delegations have voted for. This is kind of an interesting one because whenever we provided the feature for the um, for the governance and the open gov uh, later on, um, lots of the users have reported that that allowed them to participate in the network activities much more uh, with much more intense. So they were uh, actually going through all these referendums, understanding what happened previously and what's going on right now, and um, this is a key of the governance. So to involve more people to the network decision activities, right? And whenever you're going to delegate your votes, it's highly important to see towards what referendum, referendums and how your delegate is voting for, right? Uh, because that creates a feedback to your decision to delegate uh, to somebody, um, right? So that's a really important piece of the feature which we're going to deliver as well. And that also because lots of the people who started to participate in the governance discovered that it actually consumes lots of time, right? It actually consumes time to go through all these referendums, read them and make a decision, right? So I can see that lots of the people will start delegating, especially if you're staking, uh, it will not hurt you to delegate because you're using your, um, the tokens which are in staking, right? Um, so that will allow you to still have, have this motivation to open Nova and see what's going on in the governance, but you don't have to spend this much time uh, to vote towards the referendums because you have delegated your votes to the, um, the trusted person, to trust it to you, right? Because you made a decision to delegate these votes towards somebody's uh, account. 
So that will still have a motivation for you to open the app to see to whom you have delegated and how they voted. So this is really important feature to just complete this um, uh, cycle of the features. So that's regarding agile delegations. You can see the preview here. We will have the new button add delegation. And the, whenever you have started to delegate, that will transform to your delegations because you can delegate to multiple entities. But that will be um, discussed in details uh, in the next demos whenever we will preview the features. So don't worry about it. And on the right, you can see um, like how you would be able to choose uh, the delegate, right? So you can see Nova Sun Technologies, Chaos Dawa, and any other individuals, um, if there are any. We have these highlights like organization, individual, kind of what Twitter uh, does, right? So that's going to be, I think, amazing feature. Uh, I cannot wait to use them by myself. And let us know what you think about it uh, or what we have, might missed from this direction so that you can uh, add before we release it. So that's regarding agile delegations the roadmap. For the roadmap, we pretty much um, committed to the first Polka Treasure Grant, which is focused on the community requested features. Part of them we have released in version 5.1 and of course uh, more to come. And another big chunk of work is Agile delegations themselves. So that is on our list right now. Um, also, we in the process of uh, applying to the next milestone for the Moonbeam Treasury proposals because we have a roadmap of several uh, features which we would like to implement specifically in order to provide more features for the Moonbeam ecosystem and as well as like an EVM ecosystem. And the third one is regarding subquery. We're constantly working on improvements our data sources uh, with the subquery so that you can receive more data uh, in a much better way. But um, that being said, this is what we have committed so far right now, what, what is confirmed and what's in progress. And we also right now working on constructing the roadmap for this year for like filling up uh, all the quarters uh, for this year and beyond. So expect us to provide more information about it, um, maybe even on next demo, right? So like uh, a concise and the detailed roadmap uh, for the Nova for 2023. So yeah, that's what you can expect uh, next. And that sums up our demo. So thank you everyone who participated. Let me check the chat for any comments. Yeah, uh, I will fix the emulator issues uh, probably on the weekend. Uh, sorry once again about it. Uh, once again, you can download the latest version on the Google Play and App Store. The apps works perfectly. So yeah, feel free to enjoy the desktop mod. This, yeah, discoverability for delegations is massive. Yeah, I really, I really curious what the community will come up with uh, towards this. I expect that first wave will have just people going to our portal and submitting uh, more information regarding themselves, right? Or asking the friends to submit this information. But at some point of time, maybe like a couple months later, like let's say three to six months later, especially when the open gov will hit the Polkadot network, right? I really expect to see more, um, more decisions toward this area. So how people will start attracting the delegations. And of course, you need to provide more motivation uh, to the users who delegate to you. So it might be NFTs, it might be something else. Governance there was soon. <laughs> yeah, politics. All right. So yeah, let's wrap up here. Thank you everyone who participated. Enjoy your weekend and see you in two weeks. Cheers.